Today let's have a look on camel farming in Kenya as sustainable and lucrative practice. Camel farming is a traditional and resilient agricultural practice that has gained prominence in Kenya in recent years. Camels are well adapted to the arid and semi-arid regions of the country where conventional livestock and crops face numerous challenges. Camels provide a range of products and services that have both nutritional and economic value, such as milk, meat, hides, transportation, and tourism. In this video by Farmers Trend, we will explore the state of camel farming in Kenya, highlighting its historical roots, socioeconomic benefits, and future prospects. Historical Roots of Camel Farming Camel farming is not a recent phenomenon in Kenya, rather, it has deep-rooted historical significance. Dating back centuries, camels were introduced to the region primarily for transportation purposes. Nomadic communities, such as the Maasai and Somali, recognized the adaptability of these resilient creatures to the harsh landscapes that characterize parts of Kenya. Over time, the utility of camels extended beyond transportation to include their role in the socio-cultural fabric of these communities. The socio-cultural tapestry integrating camels into daily life. Camels have seamlessly integrated into the daily lives of many Kenyan communities, serving as both a means of transportation and a source of livelihood. The Northeastern communities, in particular, have a deep cultural connection with these animals, often referring to them as the ships of the desert. From fetching water to transporting goods, camels have become indispensable in the nomadic lifestyle, offering unparalleled utility in challenging terrains. Camel milk, a nutritional powerhouse. One of the key aspects driving the resurgence of camel farming in Kenya is the increasing recognition of camel milk as a nutritional powerhouse. Camel milk has gained popularity for its unique composition, boasting lower lactose levels higher vitamin C content, and distinct proteins compared to traditional cow's milk. As consumer awareness of these health benefits grows, so does the demand for camel milk, providing an economic incentive for communities engaged in camel farming. Camel meat, hides, and hooves, a range of valuable products. Camel milk is not the only product that has a high market value. Camel meat, hides, and hooves are also reputed to have wide-ranging benefits that have seen demand for them increase locally and internationally. Camel meat is lean and rich in protein, making it a healthy alternative to other red meats. Camel hides are durable and versatile, suitable for making leather products such as shoes, bags, and belts. Camel hooves are also used for various purposes, such as making glue, gelatin, and ornaments. Camel tourism a growing niche. Another emerging opportunity for camel farmers in Kenya is camel tourism, which involves offering camel rides, safaris, and cultural experiences to visitors. Camel tourism is a growing niche that attracts both local and foreign tourists, who are keen to explore the scenic landscapes and diverse cultures of Kenya. Camel tourism also provides a platform for camel farmers to showcase their skills, knowledge, and traditions as well as to generate additional income. Challenges and opportunities for camel farming Despite the numerous benefits and opportunities that camel farming offers, there are also some challenges and limitations that need to be addressed. Some of the challenges include 1. Lack of adequate infrastructure and facilities, such as roads, markets, veterinary services, and processing plants that hinder the access and quality of camel products. 2. Lack of sufficient research and extension services that limit the availability and dissemination of information and best practices on camel farming. 3. Lack of formal recognition and regulation that affect the legal status and standards of camel products and services. Some of the opportunities that can be leveraged to overcome these challenges include 1 investing in infrastructure and facilities that can improve the production, processing, and marketing of camel products and services. 2. Enhancing research and extension services that can provide evidence-based and context-specific information 
and recommendations on camel farming. 3. Developing policies and regulations that can recognize and support the camel sector, as well as ensure the quality and safety of camel products and services. I hope you find the video helpful. Thank you. www.farmerstrend.co.ke